What's up guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to get the SanDisk Connect wireless stick all set up and so you can use it with your mobile device. So you can see I have my iPhone here and I have the uh, SanDisk Connect wireless stick. And the first thing you wanna do is you want to go ahead and make sure your Connect wireless stick is all charged up. And it can be charged by plugging it into any USB port on your computer, but also if you have a USB charger of any sorts, it will go ahead and charge it. So I actually, uh, have one for my iPhone here. So any little power brick like this will charge it. So, you know, just like you would be charging your iPhone, you plug this in and when it is charging, I don't have this plugged in as you can see, but when it is charging, a little light will turn on and let you know that it is charging. Now, once you're all charged up, you wanna plug this into your PC and then you wanna go ahead and transfer all your files and put all your information or whatever you wanna share or stream or whatever you wanna put on the drive. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So now what I do is there is a little power button that you guys can see right here, this little power button. And we'll go ahead and press this in. And as you can see, the little LED turns on there and it turns on the device. So now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and go on our app and I'll show you how easy it is to get everything set up. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've uh, downloaded the SanDisk Connect Drive app. And when I go ahead and open it, it won't really do much at the start because you actually need to connect your device to the Wi-Fi on the SanDisk Connect Drive. So I will uh, show you that in just one second. So as it comes up here, as it says drive not connected. So we need to go into our settings here and go to our Wi-Fi settings. And for some reason, it's not popping up. Let's uh, see if we can find it here. It should be called SanDisk Connect. Sometimes you have to wait a second for it to pop up. Still not popping up. Let's go back and try it one more time here. There it is, SanDisk Connect. So we click on SanDisk Connect and now we're connected to our drive's Wi-Fi. So if we go back into the app and just give it one second here, you can see that it's gonna show our contents of the drive. And now this is the first time we're loading our contents. So it actually takes a good bit to uh, load our contents the first time. It's really weird um, that it does take a while to do that. Um, not exactly sure why. Uh, it takes, you know, on first run, when you're first connecting to the drive, it does take a while to load all your contents up. And right now it says I have zero contents, but if I like go to a menu and then go back, it should bring up our contents. Nope, still not bringing up our contents yet. So, Let's just wait here. Let's see. No, it's not. There it goes. So see how I had to kind of like work it around and get it to load all of our things? That's only on the first run. If I close the app and open it back up, everything usually pops up quite quickly. So here's the folders that I've already created. A lot of them are like music, photos, and video are already on there. And I've actually loaded some files on there from my main PC. So what we can do here is, you know, we can go into photos and we can view, you know, just like you would on your normal phone, the photos that we have on there. Now, I can also download this photo. So I have the option down here. You can see the little icon and I can put this in a message. I can put it in mail. I can do all that. I can save it to my downloads. And what that is, is I'll actually add this to our downloads in a second, but, um, so what that is, it's a list of files that you have set to download so you can do it all at once. So let's go ahead and save this one to my downloads. Um, so that's saved to the downloads. Now we'll go to the next and say I actually wanna download this to my camera roll. I can do that. And the ones that you save to your camera roll, they do it instantly. Um, so it's instantly saved on my camera roll now on my device. So I can go ahead and do all that. You know, I can, um, you know, we can play videos. So I've loaded some some videos I made, you know, on here. So what's up guys? Today we have a new gaming mouse from CM Storm. It is And you have play pause down here um, at the bottom and then you have the ability to kind of skip forward and back as you can see that I did there and it works really well. Um, you know, you are going over over Wi-Fi so you have a little bit of lag in there, but if I hit play, that, you know, coding, so when I'm using this and mouse, I scroll up again, you know, it's pretty fast. Um, you know, scrolling through. And again, just like with the videos, I can go ahead and download this if I want to. Same thing, you have the ability to go ahead and do that. So you can access all the files. You can upload files as well. So say I wanna put a photo on here. Um, we'll go into our photos because that's where I wanna put it. We'll hit the add button. 
and then this will access my camera roll and say, you know, this is a picture of what I ate yesterday. I, and it allows you to select the destination. So I can put it in my photos and hit copy here. And you can see it's transferring. And now we're fully copied over. So we have the ability to do that. Now you also have another cool thing. So if we go over here, you can see we have my downloads and all that, but we have camera roll backup. So this is great, especially if you're a uh, heavy picture or photo taker on your mobile device. You can go into there and you can set a camera roll auto backup. So it's gonna auto backup your camera roll um, or you can just back it up now. And what's great is this backs up all of your photos that are on your camera roll in your device. So, you know, if you don't wanna go through and select certain photos, you just wanna back everything up and get it out of there. This allows you to do that. And you have the option to delete um, the photos from your iPhone after you're, you're, you know, you're done doing your backup. So I really like that. It's just a full backup. You know, this is great if you want to clear out your iPhone before you go somewhere or something like that. This gives you the ability to easily do it and back it up to the SanDisk wireless connect stick. So I really like that. Now, if we go back into our uh, settings here again, and we can go to the my downloads. So you can see that we have uh, this as our my downloads and we should be able to uh, select so we have it selected I guess this just allows you I thought it, I thought it was like a batch download but I don't believe that it allows you to do that um, or you I'm, I believe this was able to download let's see if it put it in my camera roll so so it did not download it, but I guess this just, oops, I guess this, uh, the my downloads, you can see that this file is still here, but I don't have the ability to actually batch download it, I don't believe. Let's go into settings, maybe it's somewhere else. Um, backup, never archives, contacts. No, it does not look like it. That's really weird. So I'm not really sure what the My Downloads is set up to do. Um, you know, we can select this. Okay, so that's what you do. So I'll, I'll add a couple things here. I'll, let's see if I can do this. So this is just showing how I don't know how to use this yet completely. But um, so we'll add this one to our downloads and we'll add I don't know, this one to our downloads. Okay, so now we go back into my downloads and you can see some are selected. So we'll select this one, this one, and this one. And then we can batch download by hitting save to camera roll. And now if we go into our camera roll, look, those three are right there, which is awesome. So, we can do that, oops, go back into the app here. And a couple other things I wanted to show you. So in your settings, um, well, one thing that's cool that I didn't mention is that it shows you the battery that you have available. Um, it doesn't have a percentage on it, which is kind of weird, but it does show you the battery. It shows you the space rem remaining on my iPhone and the space remaining on the drive. Um, I can also, go into settings and you can change a few things. So you can set a password for the drive because right now this is open and you know anybody with this app can actually access my drive. So I can set a password, I can change the drive name to whatever I want. Um, you can power save timer. So it's set to 30 minutes without activity on the drive. It will turn itself off. Um, disconnect from drive. So we can hit this to disconnect. Anonymous data sharing. We can turn that on and off about. And then context. So what you can do is, again, one of the biggest things when you're you know getting a new device or something, you want to back up your contacts. You can easily back up your contacts by using this. Um, it's really cool. So the final thing and the only issue I really have with this device is the internet connection setting. So what they allow you to do is they allow you to connect the wireless stick to your home network. So when you do that, you have the ability to just be connected to your home network and access the connect stick at the same time. So right now, when I'm connected to the uh, wireless stick, I don't have access to my home network. I don't have access to the internet besides using LTE. So I wanna you know, have that access. So they allow you to do that. So we 
click on this uh, connect to dr drive to a Wi-Fi network. And what's interesting about this is that for some odd reason, my home network is not showing up and a lot of the networks that are in the vicinity here are not showing up. My router sits about five feet from here and for some odd reason, it's just not showing up. I do not know why. Now this can be really annoying, uh, especially if you're just trying to connect to your home network. Um, you can see what's listed here, like these cable Wi-Fi's, optimum Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. But if I go into my settings, um, and we bring up here, you know, apartment five, home, uh, Robin, this burritos one, all the Think Computers ones, those are all in this building. And what's interesting, if we go back here, uh, you can see the burritos did show up, but like that apartment five and Robin do not show up for whatever reason. Now, there is a way to circumvent this, it's kind of weird, but if you go to other, and we'll type in our SSID, which is thinkcomputers.org, trying to do this correctly here. Dot L-R-G, did I type that in right? Oops, no I did not. It's weird doing this with the op my opposite hand here. So I type in Think Computers, you know, you would type in your actual SSID and you want to make sure that it is, uh, you know, the correct capitalization and how you actually have it. Here is, it's WPA2 and we'll hit connect and we'll type in our password. Okay, and then we'll hit okay. Now it should connect right here, and but one thing that it, the app doesn't tell you or whatever it may be. Um, and then it says that Amazon Fire TV is detected because there is one in the network. The app will stay at the screen. It just kind of gets stuck here. And the reason for that, which I found out, is that it actually boots you off the home net, uh, the SanDisk Connect network. So it boots you off. So if I go back into my network settings, you can see I'm connected to Think Computers Wi-Fi again. Um, so the way to do this is just to basically close the app out, go back, and we'll open it back up now. And you can see that, it, again, it says there's a Fire TV connected. And now I'm accessing all of everything on the device. You know, I can access photos and I can, you know, go through. And it looks like um, I can stream this to a TV, which is cool. My Fire TV, I can go ahead and stream it to, which is kind of cool. Um, and I guess if there's an Apple device or a Chromecast, it will allow you to stream to those devices as well too. So that's actually really cool. So if I have a video on here I want to stream, I can go ahead and do it to those devices. But just to show you, I am connected to my home network now. Um, I am not connected to um, the, uh, the Sandus Connect network. So that's one really cool thing about this device um, that I can have access to my home network. And then once I'm connected to my home network, I can use this as sort of a controller and I can stream devices to a Chromecast or to a Fire TV or to an Apple TV. So it's a really great, um, really great little companion device, especially great if you're traveling or you have devices that don't have a lot of storage, you know, just like my Fire TV, I don't have the ability to add extra storage to that. But with this, I have 64 gigabytes, which this one is, they have up to 200 gigabytes. And, you know, I can stream videos, I can do a slideshow of something for friends here on the TV, it's really cool. Um, app works pretty, pretty well. I've gone over the kind of little road bumps or, you know, things that I had with it. But if you have any questions about the Connect Wireless Stick or the app for iPhone, I've only tested on iPhone. So if you have any questions about those, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Till next time, catch you guys later.